In this section, we are going to be looking at solving problems involving prisms and cylinders. So uh, this being the final section of this particular chapter, uh, what it does is puts all the previous sections together into problem solving. Uh, what you'll notice here is that I don't have any examples to do because the examples would be restrictive in the sense that there are so many different types of problems that you might have to solve. Uh, and you're going to see them throughout your assignments, even if I show you here. So here's an example of what we've been doing. Uh, you'll notice in this section that in some cases you have to, <clears throat> for example, so here's a problem here with uh, a cylinder that's being removed from a rectangular prism. So the idea here is that you have to remove the volume of the cylinder from the rectangular prism. So that would be subtracting the cylinder volume from the rectangular prism volume. Uh, and that would be how that's done. But that's in your textbook. You can look at it. Uh, there's other problems that are similar. There's also some composite problems where you have to put things together. Um, and that happens once in a while. Or other problems where you have to fit things into other things. So you may notice that. But again, read the problems carefully. We've done all the calculations and all the lessons that are necessary in order to understand this stuff. Uh, so the key idea here is as follows. It seems a little bit... Uh, short, but that's the way it is. So solving problems involving prisms and cylinders. To determine volumes of composite figures, you may need to do the following. You may need to add or subtract the volume of individual prisms or cylinders. So ask yourself if they're hollow, they'll have to be subtracted, or if they're made up of more than one shape and added together, you might have to find the volumes out and add them together. So just be careful and be problem solvers.